Welcome to Night Hacking at the JavaLand conference. My name's Steven Chen. I'm the Java Community Manager, and this is the final interview of today. We'll have more fun interviews tomorrow with Tony Apple. How are you doing, Tony? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Just You're arrived right. today and uh, got all my, my duties uh, except for, except this, for interview. this interview. Yeah, yeah. So you're almost free. Yes, I'm almost. You've free. Almost made it through today. Yeah, yes. it's been a crazy day. Yeah, yeah. It's everything's everything's broken. <laughs> basically, <laughs> <laughs> this weekend my laptop broke, so I had to. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember I had you to told me you this. had yeah. to completely get everything working on this. On That's why right. it's, it was so embarrassing. I was just in a panel, yeah. and there were six people sitting next to each other, and everybody had these shiny MacBooks. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and shiny MacBooks. yeah, yeah. Exactly. And then, like, what's this? A Lenovo. Well, but okay. A, so we, let's get this out of the way before I forget. So I think you're going to need one of these yeah, exactly. for your new computer. Sure. Well, okay. So sure. No, no, I won't put it on no, this no, no, one. No, 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 okay. Wait, wait, wait. So we have one for your temporary computer and one yeah. for the, the new replacement for your, yeah. So Thank you covered. very much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we're going to chat a little bit about DukeScript today. Yes. So just for folks who have never heard of DukeScript, like what's the quick description of what DukeScript is. DukeScript is a um, lightweight uh, Java technology that allows you to uh, write applications once and run them everywhere uh, on the desktop, embedded in Swing or JavaFX applications, also uh, on mobile platforms, in the browser even. Um, yeah, with a single source and a really nice workflow where we try to separate uh, design and development in a clean okay. manner, so so designers and developers can be friends again. Yeah, so I've heard that right once run anywhere before. So I've heard that that moniker, the right once run anywhere with Java. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It never quite happens. Well, it it it, it happened with DukeScript. With DukeScript, obviously, DukeScript obviously, is, obviously. is going to fulfill that finally yeah, yeah. for Java. Exactly. I mean, okay. Swing was almost there before they decided to invent new platforms. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to pop your, your desktop up, and we're looking at the Duke script. Yeah, that's, it. That's, that's basically the, yeah. the place to go if you want to uh, find more, get, information, find more about, information about, about it. Duke script. And uh, I also put up a little sample application that you oh. can run in the browser, so just to that's, prove that it's very cute. actually uh, possible. So this little match three game is really written in Duke script and running in the browser. Nice. Okay. Yeah, so that's you can build real stuff with Duke script. You can build real stuff. We've got real customers who use it for uh, applications and uh, s they use it in, in ways we didn't even intend uh, <laughs> it to be used actually <laughs> initially. So um, mainly for desktop development actually. Yeah, I desktop thought development. It, it, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Um, so what, what is it? What does a Duke script application look like? Maybe a sample? You have a code sample of what? Um, a simple? A simple Duke script application. A simple Duke script application. Well, I, I can create one. A uh, simple Duke script application. Uh, well, we have really nice NetBean support. Oh, you, oh, NetBean's plugin. Oh, nice. So it might take a while to load because this is. So, so you, want, you really want to be on, on my network. We've, we've done this before. So connect okay. um, to the night hacking network and the password is it's a it's a super secret one what's my twitter handle okay yeah with the <laughs> well you don't have to make it a secret because I'm everybody sending out knows tweets it already. constantly so if somebody's okay. actually watching the the call they probably they probably know the answer to that one no yes it looks like I'm connected. OK. So um, you enter your Maven, your Maven coordinates here. Yeah. And it will create a couple of projects for you. You can decide what platforms you want to de uh, deploy to. Um, the more platforms you, de you, um, you choose, the longer it will take for the demo. So I'm not going to take any of those and no network connection mm. are you connected to the night hacking night hacking okay well it'd be nice doesn't matter to a network doesn't matter I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I will probably still be able to show it 
So So what happens is uh, Maven archetype is used uh, to create some Maven projects, mm -hmm. and they will be opened in NetBeans, and uh, it will initially st it, it will start immediately to create something. Cool. So yeah. Yeah, um, on the network. this is what an application looks like. You've got a data model, and in the data model, which is the view model of the application, where the business logic goes, you have, um, you have your view model classes defined via annotation, add model annotation, where you give it a class name. Uh, for the generated class, uh, you can define some properties mm -hmm. um, and their types, like string property message and a Boolean property rotating. And then you can start the application. And what it will do, it will launch a web view component and it will bind an HTML uh, UI to this view model okay. that is written in Java. And you can do some, some stuff that's just a simple demo application, open dialogues and stuff like that. Um, and the view looks like this. It's just an HTML page, really ugly one. And um, you have these HTML elements. And inside the elements, you have these data bind attributes. Cool. And they are used to uh, declaratively bind, two-way binding, uh, to the view model. And the really nice thing about that is that you can really test, unit test, the view model without even uh, having a view. And um, as you can see, the, 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 the view that I created um, is, is is, is really very simple, and uh, it's a good idea to hire a designer to do that. And since yeah, this so is, you can kind of separate out your design and exactly. your, your back end. Yeah. And since that is HTML, uh, there are lots of designers who really have the tools and, and, and can do that. Yeah. That's really nice. Okay. That's, that's really cool. So um, folks can check out DoScript on the DoScript website, yeah. which you showed earlier in the presentation. And they could probably find interesting ways to break it and then tell you all about the cool things they're sure. doing with Duke Script. Sure. And uh, maybe they can join us next week. Oh, yeah. Uh, we yeah. can do so some gonna, stuff with. We're going to have a night hacking session. Yeah. In Munich on Tuesday evening. Let's yeah. See, it's the 16th? 15th, I guess. 15th? 15th? Yeah. Um, so if you'd like to join us, you know, come to Appleton headquarters in Munich and we'll do some Duke Script hacking. Maybe we'll. Um, Pull out some devices and instrument them, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll have fun. I'll try to. Um, I'm, this is a, one thing that I'm privately working on yeah. because um, this is what I want to maybe do if I, if I can finish it on, uh, on Tuesday. And that is, um, I've, got a, I've got an embroidery machine. Yeah. And um, I've, I, I managed to write embroidery files, and, and this is just a simulation how the stitching uh, is, 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 is going. And what I would like to do is um, take a t-shirt and, and maybe stitch a duke. Uh, oh, yeah, duke yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so actually... One, one like this. Yeah, like the duke script. Were those made on your, on your embroidery machine? Did I lose my mic? Perhaps. Mic is broken? No, I, I dropped my mic on the ground. It might. Yeah, it's still working. OK. OK, so um, oh, here's another example of something which is embroidered. So I got Duke. Ah, cool. Really cool. Embroidered on the back of my. Do you own. have the DST file for that? No, I don't, unfortunately. OK, that yeah, would be. That would be cool. But I've got, uh, actually, I've got, um, I traced this SVG here. Yeah. And um, I'm, I should be able to make a simplified version of this Duke here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be a good one to do. And I think it's very easy. This yeah. is more complicated because it was from a Gosling 3D model. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. OK, cool. So we're going to have a lot of fun in Munich. Definitely. Next Tuesday. So join us for that. And we're going to have more live interviews here at Javalands starting tomorrow at 9.45. So come join us between each of the sessions for live interviews, and you can watch the recordings at nighthacking.com. <laughs>